When the Lord does it, no human mind can explain. No vocabulary can describe. My name is Ayoindi Adibilo and you're welcome to Touched by Faith, the most inspiring program on television. Um, this is where we share testimonies of people who have been touched by the power of God as a result of them believing and having faith in Him. Today we'll be listening to the concluding part of a three-segment testimony. But before we listen to that testimony, we will be listening to a message from our Father in the Lord, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And after that sermon, we'll be back with the testimony. Watch and let your faith be ignited. When your destiny is about to be changed permanently, you need to be alone with God. Genesis 32, from verse 24 to 28. Genesis 32, 24 to 28. The Bible says, Jacob was left alone. When the angel came to wrestle with him, wives gone, children gone. Gone ahead, go, go. Including the favorite wife, just go on. When he was alone, and he started praying with a visitor, the only visitor allowed when you want to be alone with God, that's God himself. He got his name changed. His destiny was altered permanently. A man became a nation alone with God. When the Almighty God himself wants to discuss the destiny of a nation, whoever is going to be the man, like we discussed some time ago, that God will use, had to be alone. Exodus chapter 3, from verse 1 to 15. Exodus 3, 1 to 15. When God wanted to discuss the deliverance of Israel from Egypt, Moses was alone. Not just in the, the desert, at the backside of the desert, away from everybody else. Mm -hmm. When your eyes are about to see what none has seen before, you need to be alone with God. Exodus 33, verse 18 to 23. Exodus 33, from verse 18 to 23. Moses had prayed. God, show me your glory. God said, ah, <laughs> you see me, you will die. He said, but I want to see your glory. Okay. We will take you from where you are and go and hide you in the cleft of a rock. So it will be you alone seeing what you are about to see. You alone. There are some men of God who have seen visions that they won't even tell anybody. They won't tell their closest friends. I pray that God will open your eyes too and show you glorious things. And when God wants to confirm to you beyond all doubts, that you are special to him, he will take you to the mountain top. If you find anybody else there with you at that time, it must be that they are in the same club as you. Very, very special. Like in Matthew 17 from verse 1 to 9. <laughs> 
Welcome back. If you were blessed by that sermon and gave your life to Christ during that ministration, please go on our website, www.redeemersnetwork.tv, www.redeemersnetwork.tv. Download the e-decision slip, fill and send back to us and we'll be in touch with you. Please know that for 24 hour, seven day access to Pastor Yadibui's sermons, you can find them on www.redeemersnetwork.tv. You can find them on satellite TV stations such as Roku TV and Amazing Fire TV. You can download our app on iOS and Android. And you can also follow us on our social media channels on Instagram, Facebook at Redeemers Television, at Redeemers Network Television. And you can also watch us on YouTube at Redeemers Network Television, where you can have 24-hour, seven-day access to Pastor E.A. Adeboe's messages. Now to the final part of this testimony. Well, if you have not been following us, please go and check the previous two editions. But if you have been following us, I'm sure that you are ready for the climax. You are wondering, so how did this story end? How did God do it? I know you've been waiting to hear that, and I won't keep you waiting any longer. Here is the concluding part of that testimony. Stay tuned. <music> So at that time when we are low, let us look up to God. One thing that helped me also, I love to sing. And uh, you know, I just love to sing. When my eyes fail to see, say God is able. Even though it seems impossible to me, my God is able. But if God chooses not to move, the way I pray you, I'll still be confident he's working all together for my good. I will stand behind his words for his able. God is able. Yes. So let's just stand behind his word and uh, it will come true at the end. Praise the Lord. The, the word of God that is common to everyone is that with God all things are possible. That is all things. Everything is possible with God. But what is not possible for God is your lack of faith in that God. God will not force anything on anybody. He would not force himself on anybody. I tell you, there is a difference between believers and unbelievers. A great difference. Unbelievers have children. Believers also have children, but they are different. Isaac is different from Ishmael, far different. So what you need to know is that if you don't believe, if you choose not to believe in God, you will have your own, you will always have your own Ishmael, but not Isaac. You will always have, you will have your own things. Unbelievers build house, but not built by God. Because the Bible makes us to know that God is the builder of all things. He said, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. That be. So anybody, who builds a house for himself apart from God is a labor in vain. One is no labor, one is labor in vain. So this is my advice for people. If you want anything from God, please turn to that God. Please give your life to Him. Surrender to Him. Having said that, challenges will come up whenever you 
decide to do anything by faith in God or with faith in God, you will be challenged. I mean, faith in God will be tested. Don't let anybody de deceive us. Faith will be tested, but your own test differs from the other person's test. God will not test you beyond what you can bear. I advise everybody that is waiting, anyone waiting for this kind of miracle, I can tell you vividly that you will carry that miracle if you can believe and hold on to your faith in God. So we carry that miracle. I must also have this, when God gives you a blessing or a testimony, there will be no issues, there will be no sorrow, there will be no concern. This beautiful baby boy has never been a concern. There is no need for any medical attention at all, at all. When it's time for him to play, he gets up and everybody wakes up and then we are laughing. We are playing. It's just um, four months plus and it's, it's, it's growing in, in health, in wisdom, in favor. It's just going and enjoying every good thing of God. We bless the name of the Lord for this um, wonderful thing that he has done again. Neither to not the tired Jesus. Uh, so he's, he's not tired yet. Another miracle is coming. So that, that's the glory. That's what God wants. You know, barrenness does not glorify God. Sickness does not glorify God. No, poverty does not glorify him. All of these things, God has done them together. He has put them together in Christ for all of us. Just believe in Christ and then follow him and he will make you. And that's what God is doing. We bless the name of the Lord. My friends, they say, ah, when they tell them that eh, in case Folake uh, is in a low moment, how do you encourage her? They say, ah, Folake. Folake doesn't know how to think. That she's the one that is advising all of us. We that we have a uh, wife, we have children, we have good job, we have this and that, everything is working. She's the one counseling us. Before I got married, I have a fellowship called Kingdom Sisters Fellowship. And they were all married people there. Come for counseling, come for, you know. So the day I said I was getting married, they said, ah, ah how? How, you know? Because they couldn't believe that I wasn't uh, married. So it's just, um, I would say, the, what Bishop Willis calls the baptism of the spirit of faith. The spirit of faith. It makes you uh, believe God even when it, it's not, uh, it, it looks so easy. It's a spirit. The word of faith is there, the act of faith, but there is a spirit of faith. And that comes by impartation. I believe that's one of the things uh, I received from Bishop Willis. And, that, and Bishop Oedepo received that from Daddy Adeboye. <laughs> because Bishop Oedepo will always tell us that there was a time he was asking God for wisdom. And God had to tell him, go to my son Adeboye. Uh, he will have his hand laid upon you and that spirit of wisdom will come upon you. So he said he came here to meet uh, Daddy Adeboye. And that was what happened. And now he was now bragging on that, I mean, showing off with that, that we can all see that he is having things just the same way that the Adeboye is having things. He's having a uh, enlarged ministry. He's having, uh, he said, he's, he's having it in that same order because, you know, he was there was a transference of spirit, of uh, wisdom from a higher uh, party to another. So it is um, it's, 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 it's actually uh, right on that. There is a spirit of faith.
Uh, and that most people don't um, get to that before they give up. You know, people need to get to that to receive that spirit. It's a spirit. You know, that there, there is a spirit that makes people to obey God. That there is a spirit that you, you can't just disobey if that spirit comes upon you. You can't disobey God. So those are the spirits that um, people need to crave for. And you know, it's, um, it's not cheap to arrive there. If you're craving for the spirit of faith, then that means you must be ready to ignore, you know, uh, mockery and all of that. You must be ready to ignore certain things. So if you are craving for the spirit, and that makes you obey all the commandments of God, you must be craving, you know, to walk in holiness. And like uh, if we have our daddy teaching us and, you know, being an example of that. Uh, and because of all of this um, gift of the Spirit, we also are now privileged to be partakers of what they all carry. We are here today in this location where we are speaking today because that the Jew, somebody believed in God uh, for uh, something unbelievable, something unimaginable. When you are in a, a, a one bedroom apartment and you said you had God telling you that he will give you a city and you believed. You know, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. And look at the spirit in the city. The spirit is here today. And it's growing and growing. And we had him even tell us some time ago that uh, there is still a bigger that is still going on. That there is a, 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 a city size of auditorium is still coming. So that is declaration of faith. That's faith. Spirit of faith at work. And we can see the extension going already. Going on already. You can't believe it. When I go to study here and I look back, I see the large, you know, expanse of land and I wonder, how can this be? It not work. So we are actually inside the, the act of faith, we are inside of it. It will be bad for anyone who have, who have come this close, you know, to what people are traveling from far end of the world to come and uh, take a little of it. If it will be sad if we are this close, and then you know we are unable you know to tap into what is available every day what we live inside we move inside it you know so that 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 shows that um you know familiarity can bring you know content people who are close to you know uh, signs and wonder close to power they can lose it because of familiarity they can lose it. So we, we should avoid that and uh, make sure that uh, we are sensitive at all times uh, in the spirit. Uh, God, God we uh, perform uh, great works in our lives. Uh, he, 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 has not, uh, he has not finished with us. He's just the beginning. We thank God. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. You have listened to the testimonies, and I believe that the God that we serve is no respecter of persons. What he had done for others is more than willing to do for you. But before you can begin to enjoy the kind of miracles, signs, and wonders that you have heard during these Testimony time, 
you must surrender your life to him. Miracles are for children of God. And so if you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ right now, you just bow your head. I will pray with you and the Lord will save your soul. So shall we pray now? My Father, my God, you know all things and you can see all things. You can see these people who have listened to the miracle walking power of the Almighty God, what it can do in the life of people. And they say they want these kind of testimonies too. So as they are surrendering their lives to you now, Father, please receive them, save their souls, and Lord God Almighty, let your blood wash away their sins. And from now on, Lord God Almighty, anytime they cry unto you, answer them by fire. Very soon, let me begin to hear their testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Watching that testimony all over again helps me to understand that with God, all things are possible. I don't care, and I don't care to know how serious, grievous, or terrible your circumstance is. This is what I can tell you. And once God steps in, He turns everything around for your good and for his glory. And so if you are there today watching this program and you are saying, oh, but I've been going through this problem for so many years and there has been no solution. I minister to you today and I ask that the Lord himself will intervene in your situation, turn things around for your good and he alone will take the glory. I ask that God will shut and silence the mouth of all your enemies and that problem, that challenge that has tormented you, oppressed you, brought you shame, it will come and be a testimony. It will bring a new song in your mouth and you will rejoice and testify in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you for watching that testimony and I know your faith has been ignited and inspired. Till I come here again next time, I remain yours sincerely at your in day at Dibilo saying, you're next in line. Already. God bless you. When we come in your name